In this quick video guide, I'm going to show you how you can create a 2D drawing from a 3D. So basically, you can model uh, whatever you want, like an architecture. This is kind of a floor plan for architecture, really in a simple way, because I want to do this really quickly with you. But you can model anything. You can create products, uh, automotive design, and whatever in Blender, in 3D. But then you probably want to like export it or like um, create some um, a technical sheet and where you uh, explain how everything is done and the measures and everything. So you probably need a 2D representation of that 3D object. So we can do this real quick using um, uh, this file right here. Let me show you. So I'm going to delete everything. Press X to delete everything. So right now nothing is in the scene except the standard uh, 3D Blender scene right here. So let's add a cube. And let's make sure that this is uh, enough, big enough for architecture. So let's make it three meters, three meters, three meters. OK, so this is going to be like the basic. And then we can kind of model our apartment right away. And again, this is just a quick example. If you want, you will find a video course entirely dedicated on how we can create architecture in render and also technical views and renderings and so on in the channel. So let's say that this, this will be like our plan view or uh, our small apartment. So um, let's now delete or subdivide this because we, we have the walls all around. And then we have the ceiling, which is this one here that I'm selecting. I'm holding shift to select all these phases and then right click and do the, you can delete. We can just separate. So if you want to maintain this selection and just separate it into another object. So we see now you have the cube and the ceiling right there. So let's turn off the ceiling from the scene manager here from the scene outliner. And then let's select also the pavement. And also let's separate this. So right click, delete or separate. OK, so this is in another layer now. OK, now we can work just with the external walls or perimeter walls. But if you want, you can also create internal walls and windows, doors and other stuff. This is all this stuff is covered in the 3D architecture video course in Blender. You will find it in the channel. So I'm going to solidify this using the solidify modifier in the modifier generate list. So let's look for the there it is, solidify. And let's increase the thickness to 0 0.3, which means 30 centimeters. We can also change units and other stuff. But again, let's go quick. So another thing I want to do is uh, if you see this from the top, you can see that it has some larger parts in the walls. So you click on even thickness, so everything is even. And it has the same thickness. And then you can change the offset if you want it inside, outside. Let's, let's make it outside. So let's make one so it's bigger. It, the apartment will be bigger. OK, now to use this and create a, a 2D view, we actually need a 3D solid. Now, this is not a solid. This is Solidify plus this surface right here, which is not a 3D surface. It's just a surface. So to make it a solid, click on this little arrow right here and do apply or control A. So this is going to apply that modifier. And now this is actually a solid that we can use to create a section or a plan view. Now let's do a plan view because it's better and uh, it's faster. So let's go to Z and add and let's add a plane. Now this plane needs to cut all your architecture all your object. So I need to scale this. So let's select the scale and scale until it will be covering all your model. So it needs to be your model needs to be inside this plane like this. Okay. So let's move around in 3D view. Now the position is fine but you can also make it higher or lower. But uh, in the middle will be fine for a plan view. Now we need another tool, which is not 
probably already activated. So we need to go to Edit Preferences. Let's go to Add-ons. And you need to look for the bool tool. So just type here bool. And this is going to be the add-on that we're going to use. Now, this one here, it's already in Blender 5. I'm using Blender 5. Probably is not in there in the previous versions. But you will find all the information right here. And essentially, it's a Boolean tool. So it will let you cut, slice, and uh, subtract, add objects together. So you can see here, this is the shortcut key. And then this is the location. So sidebar, edit tab. So let's close the Blender Preferences panel. Let's go here and let's jump into the Edit panel right here. And that's the bool tool down there. So it's, it's at the bottom of the Edit panel in the sidebar. And uh, now let's use Slice. But first, we need to select the object that it's going to slice and the object that will be sliced. Now, uh, when you do this operation, you're going to lose the original object. So if you want to keep it, just create a copy. So select it, right click, and do duplicate objects. And then we can place this anywhere or we can bring it back there if we want. Or you can just do Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste. Now, select first the slicing object and then second, hold Shift and click the second object that will be the, the external walls of our apartment. And now let's slice. Okay, so you can see the bottom part is gone. We don't really need this one here. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And there's the 2D representation of this 3D object. So that's the section right there. But this is still a 3D mesh. So we need to convert this into an actual 2D vector graphics for CAD or um, you know graphic design. So right click again, convert to curve. And now that's an actual curve. Curve is how we call 2D things in uh, Blender. So if I go now, again, on the top view, I can also modify this. I can go into object mode, edit mode, and I can start to place the, the points differently around. OK. So you can see essentially how you can work with this. Now, if you want, you can also export this and work with this in other applications. So if you go to export, you can export them in Scalable Vector Graphics or SVG. You can work with this in Inkscape or other open source software. Also, you can export them in DXF for AutoCAD or also LibreCAD, which is open source CAD application. Now you find all this software in the channel. So this will be all for this quick video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you want to support us, if you want to thank us, please support the channel by joining as a supporter. And that's it. Check our other video guides and video courses in the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.